but ready to go. The regular season about to come to a close, and we head to New Orleans next week. Warhawks hoping to clinch a bye with a W here today over the A-State Red Wolves. It'll be Travis Munning squaring off with Tomas Bruce for the opening tip. Warhawks will go to the basket to my left, Red Wolves to my right, and the basketball is controlled by Arkansas State. Red Wolves won the uh, first matchup the season. Uh, that was back uh, earlier this year on December the 29th of uh, 2017, 75 to 64. Red Wolves with the ball in the front court between the circles. It's Cockfield. Cockfield cut off at the right elbow. Well, bounce it over to the left and shot up and is missed, rebounded by Richard. And that's his first rebound of the season. Up floor, Richard thought about the three. Will bounce it to Harris. Right back to Richard. Inside to Gene Pierre. Drives through the lane. Gets it back out to Harris. Picks up the dribble with the right hand into McDaniel. Sam Mack out to Richard. Pumps on a three. Steps up for the high arcing two. It's no good off the back iron and goes over the backboard. It'll be A-State ball. Opening minute of the first half. We are scoreless. Rashad Lindsay will bring it up for A-State. In the front court, he'll get it to Wally. Wally now to Eaton. He'll underhand it to Cockfield. Moves it over to the right. Got a screen from Bruce. Dribbles between his legs. Goes to the left to Eaton. Now inside to Bruce. Defended by Munnings. Backs his way in. Now will bounce it out to Wally. Repost to Bruce. Back out to Wally. Fires up a three ball and it's good. Coach Richard just alluded to that in his pregame interview. How they can fire up the three. Three nothing A-State. 18.38 to play, first half. Jordan Harris in the front court to the right side of Gene Pierre, left to Richard, into the corner to McDaniel. Sam Mack back out to Richard, right side to Harris, now a bounce into the corner to Munnings. Munnings to Gene Pierre, now to Harris, right wing three, it's short, and rebound fought for by McDaniel, and they'll say he was out of bounds. And substitutions made. It'll be uh, Michael Ertle and Sam Alabacus coming in. Richard and Harris will sub out. 18-21 to play first half. A-State leads 3 to nothing. Rashad Lindsay will bring it up for the Red Wolves. In the front court, left side. Ertle will pick him up defensively. Right side to Eaton. Eaton will feed Cockfield. He'll fire up a three ball, and it's good. That's a quick 6-0 lead for A-State. Exactly what the Warhawks did not want. Hurdle in the backcourt. He'll bring it up. Defended by Lindsey. Right side to McDaniel. Takes a dribble, gets it to Gene Pierre. MJP dumps it off to Munnings. Now into the left corner to McDaniel. Sam Mack dribbles out of the corner. One-handed pass to Hurdle. Eight to shoot. Hurdle looks to drive. Now whips a pass over and it's tipped out of bounds. Now they'll say it was, I guess, last touched by ULM. I thought that was easily tipped by A-State, but apparently not. Red Wolves have the ball. They'll fire up a quick three, and it's good. 9 nothing. And timeout taken by Keith Richard. So the Red Wolves jump out to a 9 nothing lead. Over you, I'll donate to a great cause by going to GoRVing.com. Red Wolves, three for three from three-point range to start the ball game. They lead nine to nothing. 17-23 to play in the first half. Sam Mack with it on the right wing. Looking to go to work offensively in the paint. Fires up the shot. It's short, but there's a whistle and a foul. It'll be two free throws for McDaniel. Foul will be on Tomas Bruce. That'll be his first and the team's first. 17-14 to play here in the first half. McDaniel, a 77% free throw shooter in Sunbelt Conference play. First one is good. Warhawks are on the board, down 9-1. to one. Second attempt for McDaniel is short, and it's rebounded by Bruce. 
Long pass up quickly to Eaton. Eaton drives, and there's a whistle and a foul on Alabacus. He'll pick up his first. 17.06 to play in the first half. Eaton will trigger in from the right baseline. Quick inbounds pass and a lay-in. Off the inbounds pass by Cockfield. 11 to 1. Red Wolves lead over ULM. Sam Mack down low to Munnings. He'll go to the bucket. He's stripped out of bounds. 19 seconds to shoot for ULM. 16.51 to play in the first half. McDaniel into Ertle. Ertle gets it to Munnings. Munnings down low to Alabacus, and he'll lay it in with the right hand. First field goal of the ball game drops for the Warhawks, 11 to 3 A State. 16.38 to play, first half. Eaton with it between the rings to Cockfield. Now he'll get it to Bruce. Bruce to Eaton. He'll drive into the paint, kicks back out, driving inside, finger roll, back iron, wouldn't go. Rebound tracked down by Ertle. That was Wally who couldn't get it to go. Ertle to the left wing to McDaniel, right back to Ertle. Freshman gets his dribble going, right wing to Gene Pierre. Picks up his dribble, now inside to Munnings, looking to go to work. Jump stop, spins, goes up and under with the right hand, short, but there was a whistle and a foul. And Mike Bellotto did not agree with that call, as they're going to call Tomas Bruce with his second foul. That's also the team's second. So Coach Bellotto will have to go to his bench and bring in Salif Bouge, a 6'8 sophomore from West Africa. It'll be Travis Munnings going to the charity stripe for ULM. 16.05 to play in the first half. First free throw for Munnings is good. 11-4 A-State. Bouge will check in. Munnings on the board. Travis averaging 16.3 points overall and 16.8 points in Sunbelt play. Second attempt for Munnings, also good. Warhawks down 11 to 5 to A State as we hit the 16 minute mark of the first half. Rashad Lindsay in the front court, left side, dribbles to the free throw line. He's cut off, needs some help. He'll get it to Eaton, defended by McDaniel, moves it over to the left, pulls up, now kicks out to Wally, fires up a three. It's short, rebound tracked down by Money. He'll push the tempo up floor, right side. Now he'll slow it down, kicks out to Gene Pierre for three. No good off the back iron, rebounded though by McDaniel, and a reset for the Warhawks. Sam Mack now with it on the right wing to the top to Gene Pierre. Starts his dribble with the right hand. Brings it back to the left to Ertle. Ertle into the corner. Munnings. He'll drive baseline. Kicks to Gene Pierre. Another three up. It's good. Warhawks get a three ball to go down. And they cut it to three. 11 to 8. A State. 15 15 to play in the first half. Cockfield in the front court. He fires a three ball. It's no good, and the rebound tracked down by McDaniel. Sam Mack across to Ertle. Ertle into the corner to Munnings. Munnings inside to McDaniel, working on Bouger. And now they'll say he stepped on the baseline out of bounds. And we'll go to the media timeout. 14. Red Wolves shooting 50% to start the ball game, four for eight. They're three for five from three-point range. Warhawks two of five to start the ball game and one for three from three-point range. Red Wolves in the first matchup shot 30 free throws compared to just five for ULM. Warhawks have already shot four in this ball game, none. Eaton. We'll bring it up for the Red Wolves to Cockfield. Now right wing to Eaton, back to Cockfield. He'll fire up a three, and he is fouled by Munnings. Foul for one for the Warhawks. Travis will pick up his first foul, and that'll be three free throws for Ty Cockfield. He's an 83% free throw shooter in Sunbelt Conference play. He'll get three opportunities. Travis picks up his first foul, and that's the team's second. First attempt is good for Ty Cockfield, 12-8, Arkansas State. Cockfield already with six points in the ball game. Second attempt, it is no good. 
That looked bad from the start. Right out of his hand. He'll get his third opportunity. And this free throw, it's good. Five-point lead for A-State, 13-8, 14-30, remaining in the first half. Harris up to Ertle, the right side of the front court, now to Gene Pierre. MJP kicks it all the way to the right side to Ertle. He looks to drive baseline. He's cut off, needs some help, gets it to Harris. Takes a dribble, gets it back to Ertle. Left-handed three is short. Rebound is kept alive by McDaniel. Good hustle by the senior. He'll get it out to MJP. Now to Ertle on the left. Starts his dribble at the right hand, gets it back to McDaniel, goes behind his back. Gets a screen, underhands it to Ertle. Now right wing to Gene, uh, Gene Pierre, fires up a three ball, back iron. Bouge will get the rebound. Pass up to Lindsay. Lindsay, left side to Eaton. Eaton spins, gets it to Cockfield, falling down and throws it in. Somehow, Ty Cockfield got it to go down. He's up to nine points early. Long pass up to Gene Pierre, and he lays it in. 15 to 10, Red Wolves. 13 28 remaining first half. Mark, uh, Marquise Eaton with it, crosses over, and we got an offensive foul against Arkansas State. An illegal screen against Salif Bouge. Salif Bouge. Substitution will come in for Arkansas State. It'll be Connor Kern. 6'4. Redshirt sophomore from Pickerington, Ohio. Will come in for the Red Wolves. Bounce pass to Harris. Harris almost loses the basketball. We'll get it to McDaniel. He'll pull up from 15. Back iron. Kern will get the board for A-State. Up floor. Cockfield will bounce it right side to Wally. Wally decides to drive to the rack. He'll get the bucket, and he is fouled. And the foul is going to go on Munnings, and that's his second. And that's the insult to injury right there. As Munnings will come out of the ball game, Sam Alabacus will sub in. 12.56 to play first half. Tristan Wally will make his free throw. Eight-point lead for Arkansas State, 18-10. Hurdle in the front court, left side. Stops his dribble, will get it to Harris. Harris back to Hurdle. Ertel looks to drive, now pulls up from eight, well short. Warhawks can't get it going offensively. Cockfield will push the tempo, kicks it over to the left to Lindsey, wide open for three, and he buries it. And another timeout taken by Keith Richards. The Red Wolves get out to an 11-point. Well, M, 21 to 10, and Coach Richard has already burned two timeouts so far in this ball game. Warhawks with the ball. And also you have Travis Munnings on the bench with two fouls. Jordan Harris brings it up. He'll drive, kicks to McDaniel. He'll go baseline, fires up a shot and gets it to go down. His first field goal of the ball game, 21-12, Red Wolves. Cockfield at the top of the key, goes inside the arc, goes over to Grantham Gillard into the ball game. Now Rashad Lindsay with it on the left wing. Starts up his dribble, steps inside the arc, fires up a long two and buries it. They stay red hot from the field. 23-12. Hurdle brings it up right side. Gets it to Harris. Harris to Hurdle. Moves it over to the left. Now is Sam Mack for three. It's good. Back-to-back buckets for McDaniel. His first three of the game. 23 to 15, Red Wolves lead by eight. Lindsay to the left to Gillard. Gillard to Cockfield, back to Gillard, pumps on a three, now loses the ball. Gene Pierre comes up with it. He'll drive all the way to the bucket, no good, but there's a whistle and a foul. The foul will go on Ty Cockfield as Marvin Gene Pierre a little slow getting up. First stop. 
That'll be the first on Cockfield, team's fourth. Marvin Jean Pierre to the line, 63% in Sunbelt play at the charity stripe. First one is rattled home. 23 to 16, Red Wolves. Second attempt for MJP. It's good. And now Travis Munnings will come back in. Coach Richard will bring Marvin out of the ball game. Warhawks within six. 11-15 to play in the first half. Lindsey walks it across the center stripe to Connor Kern. Connor Kern will get it to Cockfield, defended by Harris. Cockfield drop baseline, and now we got a whistle and a blocking foul against the Warhawks. It'll be on Alabacus, and that'll be his second. So you have Alabacus with two fouls and Munnings with two fouls. Warhawks have four team fouls here in the first half. Inbounds pass to Cockfield, a quick three, no good. And on the rebound, there's a whistle and a foul going against A-State. It'll be on Salif Bouger. That'll be his second, team's fifth. 10.56 to play in the first half. Red Wolves lead 23-17. Jake Scoggins, 6'9", redshirt freshman from Benton, Arkansas, will check in now for Bouger. Harris will bring it up for the Warhawks. Passes up left side to Ertle. Ertle drives inside. He's cut off, needs some help, gets it to McDaniel. McDaniel will go baseline, now pulls up from 12, and he got it. He's heating up, folks. McDaniel up to eight points. Warhawks within four. 10.35 to play in the first half. Gillard will get it to Kern. Kern will go to the left to Lindsey. Lindsey moves over to the right, now kicks to Kern. Left-handed three. It's no good off the back iron. Ertle will sky for the board. He'll push the tempo up floor, drives all the way to the rack. Shot too strong, rebounded by Kern. Back up floor to Lindsay left side. Rashad Lindsay spins. We'll get it to Kern all the way to the right wing to Cockfield. Cockfield dribbles to his left, brings it back to Gillard for three. It's good. 26-19, Arkansas State, halfway through the first half. Harris brings it across. He's double team. Gets it to Ertle. Ertle now to Munnings. Wide open for three. No good off the back iron. Ertle tries to track down the long rebound, can't get it up to Cockfield. He'll go to the bucket and lay it in with the left hand. Munnings couldn't defend because so he didn't want to pick up his third foul. 28 to 19, Red Wolves on a 5-0 mini run. They've made six of their last eight from the field. McDaniel right side between the rings to Ertle, now to the left to Harris. Harris. Drives inside, kicks to Ertle. Now to the corner, McDaniel for three. No good. And Scoggins will get the rebound. Underhand pass up to Lindsey. Lindsey, now to Gillard. Right back to Lindsey. Pumps on a three. Gets it to Cockfield. Cockfield moves over to the right. Drives, kicks to Gillard. High arcing three. It's good once again. They are burning up the nets. If they go up by 12, their biggest lead of the ball game. 31-19. They have now made seven of their last nine from the field. McDaniel, right elbow, kicks over to Harris, and it's tipped out of bounds. 16 seconds to shoot. Marvin Jean Pierre will sub back in. Michael Erta will come out. 8.45 to play first half. Red Wolves lead 31-19. Sam Mack to bring in from the left corner. It'll go into Gene Pierre. Now to Harris. Left wing to McDaniel. Sam Mack now to Harris. Free throw line to Munnings. Travis going to work. Off balance shot. Banks it in. 20, uh, 31 to 21. Red Wolves lead. 8.28 to play. First half. Eaton with a long two. Barely hits iron. Alabacus gets the board for the Warhawks. Up to the left side of McDaniel. Sam Mack, one hand to pass across to the right side to Harris. Jordan Harris looking to go to work. Defended by Kern. Now Lindsey will switch defensively. Over to McDaniel. Sam Mack, cut off at the right elbow. Over to Munnings. Munnings steps back for three. Rims out. And Alabacus tried to get the rebound, but he was held. No whistle. Wally will get the board. He was the one that held him. 
7.53 to play first half. Red Wolves lead 31 to 21. Lindsey defended by Munnings. Stops his dribble. Hits it between the rings to Scoggins. Scoggins over to the left to Eaton. Eaton at the free throw line. Bounces it down low to Scoggins, who misses the left-handed layup. Rebounded by Alabacus. He'll get it up to Munnings. Munnings will push the tempo. Now hands off to Harris. Harris at the top to the left wing to Gene Pierre. To McDaniel. Spins. Free throw line jumper. Good. 31-23. Warhawks cut the lead down to eight. 7-14 to play in the first half. Rashad Lindsey steps inside the yard, kicks to the left to Eaton. Eaton gets a screen, steps back, now looks to drive, left elbow. Needs some help, gets it out to Lindsey, who backs it up with 12 to shoot. Rashad Lindsey looking to go to work on Harris. Now kicks out to Eaton, fumbles the basketball, picks up his dribble, floater, no good. Alabacus goes in strong for the rebound. He'll get it to Harris, up to McDaniel. McDaniel left side, pumps, gets it to Alabacus, hands it back off to McDaniel. Over across to Harris. Jordan Harris looking to go to work, moves it over to the left, inside to Munnings. Munnings takes a dribble in the paint, up and under, and they wave it off because he traveled. 6.26 to play here in the first half. It's Arkansas State 31 today at HicksonHasIt.com. Ty Cockfield pacing the uh, Red Wolves. With 11 points in the first half, Sam McDaniel pacing ULM in the first half with 10. Red Wolves have the ball. It'll be Marquise Eaton bringing it up for the Red Wolves. He'll get it to Scoggins. Jake Scoggins takes a dribble to the left, hands it off to Cockfield, back into the ball game. Free throw line jumper is good, and he is fouled. They're going to call Marvin Jean Pierre on the foul. His first, team's fifth. Red Wolves push it up to a 10-point lead. They're now shooting 57% from the field. Warhawks shooting 42% now. Free throw for Cockfield is good. They bump it up to 11. 34-23, 6-15 remaining in the first half. Harris brings it across. We'll bounce it right side to Gene Pierre. Now to Munnings. Right back to Marvin. Marvin will bounce it down low to Harris, who was on the baseline. Warhawks turn it over for the fourth time today. We'll get it back to A State. Under six minutes to play in the half. Red Wolves lead by 11. Marquise Eaton will get it to Ty Cockfield. Cockfield to Grantham Gallard. He'll spot up for three. It's good. They have their biggest lead of the game now at 14. 37 to 23. 535 remaining in the first half. Jean Pierre looks to drive, and now there's a whistle and a foul on Cockfield. He'll pick up his second foul. So Coach Bellotto will make the decision to pull Ty Cockfield out of the ball game. He'll bring Rashad Lindsey back in. Sam Alabacus will sub out for ULM. Michael Ertle back in. 37-23 Red Wolves. He'll go into Ertle. Quick trigger two. Good. First bucket of the ball game for Ertle. He was 0 for 3 prior to that one. Warhawks down by 12, 37 to 25, 520 to play in the first half. Marquis Eaton brings it across. He'll be picked up defensively by Ertle. Over to Lindsay on the left side. Lindsay will get it to Gallard. Gallard across to the top to Scoggins, right side to Eaton. Moves it over to the left, crosses back over, down to Scoggins. Six to shoot. Now out to Ertle. Stolen or stolen away by Ertle. He'll drive all the way to the left hand. Shot no good, but there's a whistle and a foul. Very late whistle. And Ertle will shoot a couple of free throws with 4.53 to play. Marquise Eaton will pick up his first, and that's now the team's seventh. Two free throws upcoming for Michael Ertle, the freshman from Indianapolis, Indiana. 
First one's good. 37 to 26. Salif Bouge will sub in for Jake Scoggins. Second attempt for Ertl. Good. Made them both. Warhawks cut it to 10. Eaton in the front court quickly for the Red Wolves. Moves it over to the right. Will feed Wally. Wally now to Lindsay. Lindsay pulls up right elbow floater. Good. Over 60% now are the Red Wolves here in the first half. 39 to 27. A state. Ertl will push it to McDaniel. Back to Ertl in the right corner. Starts up his dribble with the left hand. Backs it over to the right wing. Now to Harris. Left side of McDaniel. Pumps on a three. Wants to go inside. Now will start his dribble up instead. Drives and lays it in with the right hand. 39-29. A stake. 4-10 to play here in the first half. And now we got an offensive foul against Arkansas State. It's going to be on Boucher, and that's going to be his third. That'll be the team's eighth. Scoggins will check back in for the Red Wolves. Bouge will check out. 4 7 to play in the half. Red Wolves lead 39-29. to Ertl brings it up. Warhawks trying to make a charge here at the end of the first half. Fires up a quick three. It's no good. And now there's a foul on the rebound. And they are going to call that on. Is that on ULM? There's no way that's on the Warhawks. We're trying to see what's going on here. We're going to go to the media time. Oh, my goodness. They just called that on Travis Munnings. You have got to be kidding me. That is a terrible call. 352 to play here in the first half. It's all Arkansas State. Everything going their way here in the first half as they lead 39-29. to over ULM. Be sure to check out Brookshire's great variety of fresh meats and produce. Earn your points and save on both groceries and fuel. Travis Munnings on the bench now with three fouls. Brandon Newman checks in to replace Munnings. And the Warhawks come up with a steal, and there's a whistle and a foul on Arkansas State. Grantham Gallard will get charged with the foul. And Brandon Newman, just into the ball game, will go to the free throw line for a one and one. 3.42 to play in the first half. Warhawks down by 10. Red Wolves are shooting 61% overall and 64% from three point range here in the first half. Front end of the one and one for Newman is good. Warhawks cut it to single digits, 39 to 30. On the floor, Newman, McDaniel, Gene Pierre, Harris, and Ertl. Second free throw for Newman. No good off the back iron. Tristan Wally will pull down the rebound for A State. Warhawks down by nine. 334 to play here in the first half. Eaton, right side to Wally. Wally will get it to Rashad Lindsay. Lindsay across to Gillard. Now to Marquise Eaton. Eaton will back it up near the center strike with six to shoot. Now looks to drive to the bucket, and there's a whistle and a foul. And they're going to call Marvin Jean Pierre on his second foul. That'll be the seventh team foul, and Eaton will go to the line for two. 80% free throw shooter in league play. A freshman from... Kalina, Arkansas, makes his first. Red Wolves back up by 10. Connor Kern will sub into the game. Gallard will check out. Second attempt for Eaton, also good. Red Wolves lead by 11, 41 to 30. 314 left to play in the first half. 
Jordan Harris brings it up for the Warhawks. He'll get it to Newman. Newman over to the right wing to Ertl. Ertl drives baseline, pulls up. It's an air ball. Way too strong. Rebounded by Wally. Eaton in the front court across to the left to Lindsey. Under three minutes to go in the first half. Red Wolves in control by 11. Lindsey takes a step inside the arc, spins. Six to shoot. Now to Eaton, fires up a three. It's good. 44 to 30. And Red Wolves talking a little bit as well. They feel confident. And why shouldn't they? They're burning up the nets here in the first half. Approaching two minutes to go in the half. They lead by 14. Harris between the rings to Newman. Right back to Harris. Working against the Red Wolf zone. Ten to shoot. Harris out to Gene Pierre. He'll fire up a three. It wouldn't go down. Scoggins will get the rebound. Lindsey down low. Alley-oop attempt is missed. Wally gets it back and will lay it in. The Red Wolves lead by 16. 46 to 30. 145 remaining here in the first half. Hurdle pulls up from 10. It's well short. And now there's a whistle and a foul on Marvin Jean Pierre. 133 to play in the first half as Marvin picks up his third foul. So you got Travis Munnings with three, Marvin Jean Pierre with three. Sam Alabakis will check back in. Red Wolves lead by 16 points with 133 to play in the half. And they're at the charity stripe for a one and one. Free throw is missed. McDaniel will get the rebound. Warhawks scoreless over the last two plus minutes. Newman with the basketball to Ertl, stolen away by Wally. Here come the Red Wolves. Alley oop to Wally, and he misses the layup. Rebounded by Ertl. Warhawks back up floor to McDaniel. He'll pull up for two. It's good. 46 32 Red Wolves. 106 to play in the first half. That's a big four point swing right there. See if the Warhawks can get a little momentum going. Lindsay, left handed pass over to Eaton. Warhawks will be down at the half. They just need to get a little closer, try to get it to single digits, says Coach Taft. Red Wolves lead 46 to 32. Red Wolves shooting 59% here in the first half. And the Warhawks, two of their main contributors with three fouls as well. And Travis Munnings and Marvin Jean Pierre. Connor Kern will inbound for A State. They have 14 seconds on the shot clock. It'll be Marquise Eaton to bring it in. Shot clock down to five. Eaton looking to go to work. Shot clock down to two. He's got to hurry. And now they call a whistle and a foul. You have got to be kidding me. Sam McDaniel stripped Wally of the basketball, and they're going to say he fouled him. Mm. And now I think they're going to go and review it and see if the shot clock expired. Maybe we'll get a break. Maybe. Let's hope. It's going to be close. What they're reviewing right here is to see if the shot clock hit zero before Wally went up for the shot and was supposedly fouled. 36.2 seconds remain in the first half. Arkansas State up 46 to 32 as they go across the way to the monitors to look and check on the situation right here. Southern Illinois, Silicon 
So they're checking the monitors across the way. If the original call stands, it will be a foul on McDaniel, which would be his second foul. So, or no, that would be his first, actually. So they're looking at the monitors over there across the way. And they're going to say it was a foul. So a foul on Sam McDaniel with 36.2 seconds to go. In the first half, we'll send Tristan Wally to the free throw line. Red Wolves six for eight at the charity stripe so far in the ball game. They move the clock to 37.8 seconds. First free throw is rattled home. 47 to 32. Red Wolves. Second attempt also good. 48 32, Arkansas State. Hurdle. Moves it to the left wing. Will bounce it to Newman at the top. Right side to McDaniel. McDaniel drives, pumps, kicks to Harris. Harris to Newman. Three ball up. No good. Rebound won by Scoggins. 14 seconds to go in the half. Lindsay will push it up floor. And now he'll slow it up and play for the final shot. Five seconds to go. Lindsay looks to drop. Got away with the push off. Floater's good. And that is it for the first half. 50 to 32, Arkansas State. Warhawks plan right there was to get right at it and attack the rim, try to get something quick, and try to get to the stripe. We'll see if Ertle can convert right here, going to the free throw line. Ty Cockfield picked up his third foul as well, but Ertle misses the first free throw. He'll get another opportunity right here. Could not take advantage of the first freebie. Second attempt for Ertle. It's good. 50 to 33, Red Wolves. Rashad Lindsey will bring it up for A State. Lindsey, Bruce, Eaton, Wally on the floor along with Cockfield. Cockfield will drive left side, fade away, no good. Rebound tipped out to Munnings. He'll push the tempo, now will slow it down as he crosses the center stripe. He'll bounce it to Gene Pierre. Now to Ertle. Ertle. Takes a dribble, gets it back to Gene Pierre. Now to the left to McDaniel. Sam Mack starts his dribble at the right hand. We'll get it to Gene Pierre. A State going with zone. Ertle looking to drive. Cut off on the baseline to McDaniel for three. It's good. 50 to 36, Red Wolves. Opening minute of the second half. Rashad Lindsay in the front court, right side. Got a screen from Bruce. Lindsay goes into the paint, pumps. Kicks right side to Eaton, now to Wally at the top. To the left wing to Lindsay. Lindsay will get a screen, moving between the rings. Pass to the right side to Eaton, 10 to shoot. Eaton will bounce it down low to Bruce. Bruce pumps, reverse layup with the left hand is good. 52 to 36. Red Wolves on top. 18-38 to play. Hurdle will bring it up for ULM. Cross the logo to the right. Defended by Cockfield. He'll get it to Munnings. Back to the basket. And there's a reach in and a foul on Eaton. 
Eaton will pick up his second, and that's the team's second. 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Warhawks as McDaniel will trigger in. It'll go in to Gene Pierre. Right side to Ertle. Ertle looking to drive. Jump stop. Fade away. Good. 52-38. Red Wolves. 18-10 remaining. Rashad Lindsay in the front court right side. Moves it over to Eaton. Eaton looking to go on the baseline. Spins back beyond the arc. Left-handed pass to Wally. It will now go to Lindsay. Lindsay back over to Eaton. 4-3. It's no good. And Munnings will get the rebound. He'll get it up to McDaniel. Sam Mack will spot up for three. Yes! Warhawks within 11. 52 to 41. Sam Mack up to 17. 52 to 41. 17 37 to play. Wally left side. We'll get it to Cockfield. Now to Eaton. Eaton across the logo. Gets it back to Lindsay. Shot Lindsay holding the ball up high. Now to Wally. Wally looking to go down low camp. Now spots up from 17. It's an air ball that's tracked down by Gene Pierre. Warhawks back up floor quickly. McDaniel will hand off to Munnings. Munnings right back to McDaniel. McDaniel left-handed pass to Ertle. Ertle looking to go to work. Brings it back out beyond the arc. Ertle directing traffic. Cross the logo to the right. Now looks to drive. Puts it up. It is no good. This time Bruce will sky for the board. Cockfield will push the tempo. Pass is tipped out of bounds by Munnings. 16-50 remaining. 52-41 Red Wolves. Marquise Eaton will bring in in front of his own bench. 27 seconds on the shot clock. It'll go in to Lindsey. Lindsey moves it over to the left. Kicks it out to Wally. Wally looks to drive. Now travels. Took an extra step down low. Red Wolves turn it over. 16-40 remaining. Warhawks will get it back down 11. Marvin Jean Pierre with it in the backcourt. Right side to Ertle. Ertle gets it across the timeline, defended by Lindsey. Lindsey now to, I mean, Ertle to the left to McDaniel, right back to Ertle. Pitch and catch beyond the arc. Ertle moves it over to the left. Now drives to the bucket. Layup good. Warhawks cut it to single digits. 52 to 43. 16 15 to play. Rashad Lindsey in the front court, left side to Wally. Wally. Pass deflected to Cockfield, and now there's a whistle and a foul, and that's going to be the fourth foul on Marvin Jean Pierre. And that's an unfortunate foul. Pass kind of went off, I believe, the back of Marvin's head. He was just trying to track down the basketball and kind of ran into Cockfield right there. Just one you can't do anything about. Marvin's got to come out of the game. Harris comes in. Lindsay inside the arc to Wally. Wally now inside to Bruce. Bruce takes a dribble, shot up, and it is good over Alabacus. 54-43, Red Wolves. 15-53 remaining. Jordan Harris between the rings. Moves it to the left to Ertle. Now to Harris, to the right to McDaniel. Back to Harris. Now to the free throw line to Munnings. Travis looking to go to work. Pump, shot up. It is no good. And it's rebounded by Bruce. Cockfield will push the tempo up floor. He drives all the way. High arcing shot. It's an air ball. Rebounded by Ertle. And then he is knocked out of bounds. Be a foul against Arkansas State as we go to the media timeout. 15.30 to play. It's Arkansas State Apartment. Creel Properties is the place to be. They're conveniently located on Warhawk Way within walking distance to ULM. Visit their website at creelproperties.net. Creel Properties welcomes you home. Go Warhawks. They're going to say that was not a foul in that last play. It was just uh, basketball out of bounds off of Arkansas State. So the Warhawks have it. Jordan Harris will bring it up. They'll get it to Ertle left side. Back to Harris. Harris will move it across the logo to the right. Into the corner to Ertle. Ertle will drive baseline. He's cut off. Back to Harris. 4-3. Yes! Warhawks cut it to eight. 
54 to 46, 15.05 to play. Rashad Lindsay in the front court, right side. Hands it off to Eaton. Now to Wally. Wally over to the left to Cockfield. Back across to Lindsay. Lindsay now back to Cockfield on the right side. Gets a screen from Bruce. Over to Lindsay. Pumps on a three. Picks up his dribble with the right hand. Ten to shoot. To the left to Eaton. Inside to Bruce. Back in his way in. Bounces it back out to Eaton. Five to shoot. Drives inside. Jump stop with the left hand. No good. Rebounded by McDaniel. McDaniel right side to Harris. Jordan Harris with it. Bounces it to McDaniel. Back to Harris. 4-3. No good off the back iron. It's rebounded by Wally, and there's a whistle and a foul. They're going to call it on Alabacus. Sam picks up his third. Team second. So the Warhawks in foul trouble with Marvin Jean Pierre with four. Alabacus with three. And Munnings with three. Red Wolves lead by eight. Eaton in the left side. Goes to Wally. Wally will get it back to Eaton. Now they'll whip it around to Lindsey. Lindsey out to Connor Kern into the ball game. Eight to shoot. Out to Eaton. Eaton looking to go to work. Drives right at Munnings. To the bucket. Misses it. Rebounded though by Bruce. Bruce down low. Spins out. Kicks to Kern. Kern now to Eaton. Jumps up. Kicks to Lindsey. Extra pass over to Wally for three, and it's good. They made the extra pass, and they got the three ball to go down. Harris will push it up floor as the Red Wolves go back up by 11. 57 to 46, 13 39 to play. Harris defended by Connor Kern. Over across to the left to Ertle. Ertle looking to go to work, cut off on the baseline, out to Munnings, between the rings to Harris, to McDaniel. Samak in the paint, fade away, good. Rattled it home. Sam Mack up to 22 points. 57 to 48, 13 15 to play. Lindsay in the front court, right side in front of the A State bench, defended by Harris. Left handed pass over to Wally, now to Kern in the corner. And now Kern travels, trying to make his move on Ertle. 13 3 to play. Warhawks will get it back. Down by nine. Harris will face the pressure from A-State. Now it's stolen away by Eaton. He'll drive to the bucket and lay it in. That's a costly turnover by the Warhawks right there. And now they almost steal it away again. 59-48, Red Wolves, 12-52, remaining in the ball game. Warhawks will get an extra man in the backcourt now with McDaniel. Harris will get it across. Ertle to McDaniel, almost stolen away. To the top to Ertle. Ertle looking to go to work. Dumps it down low to Alabacus. Now it's tied up by Tomas Bruce, and they'll get the possession with the arrow in their favor. 12-33 to play. Red Wolves lead 59-48. Rashad Lindsey. Brings it up right side, hands it off to Kern. Kern to the left to Eaton. Back to Lindsey. Rashad Lindsey moves it over to the right, pumps at the free throw line, gets it out to Wally. Wally loses the ball. Ertl comes up with it. He'll push it all the way. Bounce it to Harris. Layup is missed. Connor Kern comes up with it for Arkansas State. Now back up floor, Eaton will drive. Pulls up in the paint, and it is good. It's a four-point swing right there as the Warhawks missed a layup down low. 61-48. to Arkansas State leads by 13. 11.50 to play. Michael Ertle with it. Crosses over to the right. Gets it to McDaniel. He'll pull up for the long two. It's good. No, it's no good. He was knocked to the deck, and now there's a whistle and a foul. And McDaniel might be a little bit shaken up as well. He's sitting there talking to the officials saying, how is that not a foul? Warhawks will have the ball. Be sure to go by and try their delicious nachos and burgers or one of their specialties, the smoked ribeye. They also have live music on the big stage and great drink specials. The Monterey Grill located at 3610 Desert Street near ULM in Monroe. 
Warhawks do have the basketball with 30 seconds on the shot clock. Michael Ertle will get it in to Travis Munnings. Munnings will drive, kicks out to Harris. Three from the corner is good. Senior gets a three ball to go down, brings the uh, Warhawks within 10, 61 to 51, 11.25 remaining. Red Wolves with the basketball, Marquis Eaton, right side to Rashad Lindsey, moves it over to the left. Lindsey back to the right, Connor Kern left-handed three. It rims out, Alabacus will get the rebound. Here come the Warhawks, back up floor, Munnings with it. Munnings to Harris. Harris to McDaniel. McDaniel into the paint. Fade away. Good. Sam Mack up to 24 points. He is four shy of matching his career high. 61 to 53. Red Wolves lead. 10.45 to play. Eaton moves over to the right. Crosses back to the left. Now kicks it and throws it away. Trying to get it to Wally. Substitutions will come in for A State. Grantham Gallard will sub back in along with Ty Cockfield. Rashad Lindsay and Connor Kern will come out. 10.39 remaining. Warhawks down by eight. They were down by 18 at the half. Harris across the center stripe, defended by Cockfield. To McDaniel, right side. Between the rings to Munnings. Now to the left to Ertle. Ertle, defended by Wally. Keeps it beyond the yard. Gets to Munnings. 10 to shoot. To the right side to Harris. Warhawks have to hurry. Shot clock at five to Munnings for three. Bang! Warhawks are within five. 61 to 56. 10.05 remaining. We got a ball game again. Eaton right side in front of the A State bench. One handed pass to Gallard. Now to the left to Cockfield. Ertle defending. Looks to drive. Kicks it out to Eaton. Extra pass to Gallard. Pumps on a three. Back to Eaton. Ten to shoot. He'll drive to the left. Steps it back beyond the arc. Now to Wally. Wally to Gallard. Gallard with three to shoot. Into the paint. Floater is good. 9.35 to play. Red Wolves bumped it back up to seven. 63 to 56. Harris defended by Cockfield. To the right wing to Ertle. Wide open for three. Bang again. Warhawks are within four. Finally getting the three ball going, and Mike Bellato will take the timeout. Let's get the crowd going. The folks are finally getting on their feet here at Fant Ewing Coliseum. As the Warhawks are within four. It is Arkansas State 63, ULM 59. The Warhawks would like to thank Coca-Cola, the official soft drink provider of ULM Athletics. The Warhawks getting it going in the second half. Shooting 67% in the second half and now 50% overall for the ball game. That prompted the Mike Bellotto timeout as the Red Wolves have the ball leading by four. Ty Cockfield, their leading scorer with the basketball at the top of the key. To the left side to Grantham Gallard. He's defended by McDaniel. Gallard moves it over to the right. Now kicks a pass over to Wally for three. It rims out. McDaniel will go in for the rebound. He'll bounce it to Harris. Warhawks will push it to McDaniel. McDaniel moves it between the rings, stops his dribble, gets it back to the right to Harris. Harris backs it up near the center strike. Gets a screen from Munnings. Lindsey will defend inside to Munnings. Munnings in the paint, spins, shot up with the right hand. Yes! Warhawks are within two. 63 to 61, 8.30 to play. Lindsey up floor quickly for the Red Wolves. Spins to his left, kicks to Gallard. Now to Cockfield. Cockfield moves to his right. Jump stop in the paint. One-hander is short. Rebounded by Alabacus. Here come the Warhawks. Up to Munnings. Fumbles the basketball. Regains it. Gets it to Harris. Now to Ertle for three. Yes! And the Warhawks take the lead. 64 to 63. 8.08 to play. That is a huge three in the Warhawks have erased an 18-point deficit to take the lead, 64-63. to 8.08 to play. Here we go. Rashad Lindsey will bring it up. Cockfield with it to Tristan Wally. Now to Rashad Lindsey. 
Lindsey will move it to the left. He'll pull up from 17. It's good. And the Red Wolves retake the lead. 65 to 64. Ertl will bring it across. He'll hand it off to Harris. Harris looks to drive. Now he pulls up from 12. It's good. Well, we got some hot shooting going on. The Warhawks have hit seven straight. 66 65 Warhawks. 7 30 remaining. Lindsey on the right wing. Thought about the three, goes to Gallard instead for three. It's short. Alabacus goes in strong for the rebound as he was knocked to the deck. Here come the Warhawks. Harris will hand it off to Munnings. Munnings to the left. Fade away. Couldn't bank it in. Alabacus fighting for the rebound. It's loose on the floor. Now Cockfield will track it down. He'll push it up floor. Cockfield moves it over to the right. Spins to the left. Will go to Lindsey. And Rashad Lindsey will slow it down with seven minutes to go. Moves it over to the right to Gallard, into the corner to Cockfield. Now inside to Bruce. Bruce kicks it over to Wally. Wide open for three. It's good. 68-66. Red Wolves retake the lead. 6.45 remaining. Travis Munnings in the front court. will get it to Jordan Harris. Warhawks will slow it down. They've made seven of their last eight. Harris moves it over to the right side. He'll get it to Ertl at the top of the key. Ertl now to McDaniel. He'll fire up the long two. It's no good off the front iron. Rebounded by Tristan Wally. Wally with a new career high at 19 points for the Red Wolves. He'll hand it off to Cockfield. Now to Wally. Right side to Gallard. Now to Lindsay. Lindsay crosses over to the right side. Gets it out to Wally. 4-3. He's no good. Went halfway down and came out. Ertl with the rebound. Earl brings it up, drives, spins to Alabaca, 17-footer. It's good. The big man showed a little range. We're tied at 68. 5.50 to play. We got an exciting one here in Monroe on the regular season finale. Warhawks fighting for a first-round bye in the Sunbelt Conference basketball tournament. Lindsey moves it to the right side, drives inside, and there's a whistle and a foul. It's going to go on Jordan Harris for the Warhawks. That'll be his first, team's third, and we'll go to the media timeout. 5.35 to Booper, although their name has changed, their great telecommunications service has not. Unity Fiber, located at 363 Venable Lane in Monroe. Each team with just three fouls here in the second half. As the Red Wolves have the ball with 20 seconds on the shot clock, Grantham Gallard will trigger in from the right baseline. Off of the media timeout. It'll go into Ty Cockfield. Cockfield moves it over to the left to Wally. Wally now to Rashad Lindsay. Moves it over to the top of the key. Brings it back to the left to Gallard. Now inside and threw it away. Off the fingertips of Wally. Warhawks will get it back with 5.23 left to play. Now the Red Wolves will show a little pressure. Harris will bring it up. Defended by Rashad Lindsay. Gets it across the center stripe right in front of us. Between the rings to Alabacus, left side to Ertl. Ertl beyond the arc, picks up his dribble, gets it to Harris, right back to Ertl. Now bounce pass inside to Munnings to Alabacus, lays it in off the window. 70 to 68, Warhawks, under five minutes to go. Warhawks lead by two. Lindsay in the front court, left side to Wally, right side to Gallard. Gallard will go inside to Bruce. Backs his way in on Alabacus. Now threw it into the backcourt. McDaniel's going to try to track it down. And now Gallard tracks it down instead. It'll be a turnover, backcourt violation. So the Warhawks will have it. Good job by McDaniel. Kind of shielding it off. And then Gallard just went on and picked it up and took the backcourt violation. Warhawks lead by two with the ball. 440 to play. That was the 11th turnover for the Red Wolves. Harris going to work. Splits the double team. Floater, good! From 12 feet. Warhawks lead by four, 72 to 68. Cockfield left wing. Tries to back his way in. Whips the pass all the way across to Wally. Now inside to Bruce, and there's a whistle and a foul. Reach in on Alabacus. And that is going to be four on Big Sam Alabacus. So decision time for Keith Richard. This five on the floor has been working, and he's going to stick with it. 
22 seconds on the shot clock. Inbounds pass will go to Cockfield. He'll drive baseline to the bucket, misses the layup. Alabakis with a strong rebound. 72-68 Warhawks, 4-14 to play. Ertl left wing, spins. Now drives to the right, gets it back to Harris. Now to McDaniel, fires up a three, no good. And the rebound, Tomas Bruce. Well, this place would have exploded if that went down. Under four to play. Warhawks lead by four. Rashad Lindsay at the top of the key. Moves it over to the left. Whips a pass to Connor Kern. Top of the key, three. Good. 72-71 Warhawks. 345 remaining. Jordan Harris will bring it up for the Warhawks. Moves it to the right. Decides a drive. Now a floater partially blocked by Cockfield. He comes up with it. He'll push it. Cockfield over to Lindsey. Lindsey will drive baseline, and he'll lay it in. A 5-0 mini run for Arkansas State. They retake the lead by one. 73-72. to 3-17 remaining. Hurdle in the front court right side. He'll get it to Harris back near the center stripe. Now back to Hurdle. Ertle looking to go to work, drives, bounces it back to Harris. Underhand pass back to Ertle. Ertle behind his back in the lane, fade away, would not go down. Rebound fought for down low and will go out of bounds off of Arkansas State. Tomas Bruce was laying on the baseline and touched the basketball. Warhawks will have it when we come back. 2.55 left to play in the regular season. It is Arkansas Times. Always grab some buds. Also, Adidas is the official outfitter of the ULM Warhawks. Warhawks have the basketball with 30 seconds on the shot clock. Three players in double figures for ULM. Sam McDaniel with 24. Michael Erdl with 15. Jordan Harris with 10. It'll be Sam Mack to inbound from the right baseline. He'll get it in to Jordan Harris. Harris will bounce it into Munnings, trying to back his way in on Bruce. And there's a whistle and a foul with 2.49 to play. Tomas Bruce will pick up his third foul. That's just the team's fourth. Both teams with four fouls. Both teams with two timeouts left. Possession arrow in favor of ULM. Inbounds pass will go to Alabacus. He'll hand it off to Ertl right in front of us. Ertl starts his dribble with the left hand, goes to the free throw line to Munnings. He'll drive inside, shot up, no good, but there's a whistle and a foul. And Munnings will go to the line for two. And that will go on to Moss Bruce, who just picked up his fourth. That is now the team's fifth. So big free throws upcoming for Travis Munnings. Nine points on the day. Munnings to the line. The junior from the Bahamas, a 1,000-point scorer already in his career. First one's good. We got a tie ball game at 73. Second attempt for Munnings. It's good. Warhawks lead by one, 74 to 73. 238 left to go. Rashad Lindsey brings it up for the Red Wolves. Moves it beyond the arc to the right. Goes to Wally. Wally will underhand it to Ty Cockfield. Cockfield back to Wally on the left side. Goes right at Alabacus. Tries to lay it in. Misses it. Gets the rebound back up. And there's a whistle and a foul. And let's see who it's on. They're going to call McDaniel with the foul. And that'll be his second. Team's fifth. Tristan Wally will go to the line for two. In conference play, 79%. Overall, 66% made his first one. We are tied at 74. 221 to play. Tristan Wally adds to his career high now with 20. <clears throat> Wally ready for his second. It's good. And the Red Wolves retake the lead. 75 to 74. Harris will face pressure from Lindsay. Pass across to Ertl, dangerous pass. Ertl able to come up with it. Now to the left wing to Munnings. Now to the top to Ertl. Michael Ertl, the freshman, goes down low to Alabacus. Now to McDaniel for a three. No good off the back iron. Cockfield with the rebound. He'll push the tempo. Drives to the bucket. Shot is no good. And the rebound to Munnings. Under two minutes to play. 
Red Wolves lead 75-74. Pass down low to Alabacus, and he was falling out of bounds and had to throw it to somebody. Went right to Cockfield. He'll drive. This is the layup, but it's rebounded by Lindsey, who lays it in. Red Wolves lead by three, 77-74, 135 to play. Ertl will bring it up for ULM. And now a timeout taken by Keith Richard. 128 remaining. Red Wolves lead 77 to 74. Texas State 85 to 82. And just underway in Statesboro, 15-43 to play in the first half. Georgia Southern leading Troy 13 to 10. Later tonight, uh, ULL will host Little Rock. 21 seconds on the shot clock, 128 on the game clock. Warhawks will bring it in. It'll go into Munnings. We'll hand it off to Harris. Jordan Harris, the senior from San Antonio, running the offense, and we got a whistle and an offensive foul. And they're going to call it on Sam Alabacus. And that will foul out Sam Alabacus. Heath Richard is livid. So Alabacus fouls out with 119 to play. That'll be the sixth team foul. Coach Richard will have to go to Marvin Jean Pierre, who has four fouls, to come back in. Now the Warhawks will have to lock down defensively, try to get a stop. 119 to play. Red Wolves lead 77 to 74. It is McDaniel, Ertle, Munnings, Gene Pierre, and Harris on the floor for ULM. Rashad Lindsay will bring it up for A State. In the front court to the left, moves it to the top of the key. We'll get it to Ty Cockfield. Cockfield goes behind his back. We'll bounce it to the right wing to Lindsay. Rashad Lindsay dribbling beyond the arc. He'll slow it down with one minute remaining. Ten on the shot clock. Lindsay moving forward, goes right at Munnings. Drives, floater is good. And the Red Wolves will take a five-point lead now with 53 seconds to go. Now they stop play. I don't know if they go over and say time went off the clock or what. They're going to go to the monitors. 79-74, Red Wolves lead. Over the ULM Warhawks. Right now it shows 53 seconds on the clock. They go to the monitors to check the time. Rashad Lindsay, the senior for Arkansas State, up to 17 points. He is a perfect 8 for 8 from the field. The senior having an outstanding game in his final regular season game of his career. 53 seconds as it stands right now. Let's see if they reset anything. Their decision is made. And it will be, well, they move it to 5.4. That's not correct. 54 seconds. So one extra second on the clock. We'll take everything we can get right now. Warhawks are down by five. It's a 6-0 run for A-State over the last minute and 27 seconds. Warhawks without a field goal over the last 339. In the front court, Jordan Harris will bounce it inside to Munnings. He'll go to the bucket and lay it in with the right hand. Munnings up to 13 points. Warhawks are within three. 43 seconds to go. Cockfield in the front court. And the Warhawks are going to play it straight up. And there's a timeout taken by Arkansas State. Try to go for the quick two in the foul situation. We put them in the one and one as well, so <clears throat> we'll see. Biggest thing is getting a stop. That's what the Warhawks have to do right now. Connor Kern has checked into the ball game for A-State. Inbounds pass will go to Ty Cockfield. Wally with it. Cross to Cockfield, now to Kern. They're trying to foul. They'll get it to Wally. Wally now to Rashad Lindsey. Eight to shoot. Now they finally get the foul with 21.4 seconds to go. And they'll call Sam McDaniel with his third foul. Team seventh. 21.4 seconds remaining. 
And Rashad Lindsey to the line. That's not the guy the Warhawks wanted to foul. 85.5% at the free throw line on the year. Front end of the one and one. It is no good. Munnings with the rebound. Warhawks down by three, 79 to 76. Shot clock is off. Inside to Munnings. He'll drive and misses the layup. And now there's a whistle and a foul against ULM. Oh, my goodness. Munnings missed a wide open layup. Couldn't have been more wide open. 8.7 8.7 seconds to go. 79-76. Marvin Jean Pierre fouls. He's done. So now Coach Richard will have to go to the bench and bring in Lance Richard. Of course, he'll bring him in for three-point shooting ability. Of course, this is not over. This is a one and one. Pressure situation right here. Tristan Wally to the line, a 66% free throw shooter. We'll go to the line for a one and one. Free throw is good. Four point lead for A State, 80 to 76. Marquise Eaton will sub in for A State. Tomas Bruce will come out. Tristan Wally continues his career night. Second free throw is good. 23 points now for Wally. 8.7 seconds to go. Ertl will get it up floor quickly. Heaves up a three. He banked it in. 81 to 79. 3.4 seconds to go. And I think they're going to go to the monitor. 81 to 79. It'll be Tristan Wally to inbound. Tristan Wally to inbound. He can run the baseline. They'll get into Cockfield, and he has fouled 2.9 seconds remaining. Fouled by Jordan Harris. That'll be his second foul. That is the team's ninth. So it is a one-and-one right here. Ty Cockfield will go to the free throw line. The junior. A 78% free throw shooter on the year. This is a one and one. We have 2.9 seconds remaining. Donovan Walker has checked into the game for ULM as well. Codfield to the line. Front end of the one and one. It's good. Three point lead for A State. 82 to 79. This to give them a four-point lead. Free throw for Cockfield. It is good. Four-point lead for A-State. 2.9 seconds to go. Harris will heave up a three. It is no good, and the Warhawks fall on senior day here at Fant Ewing Coliseum. They will not get a first-round bye in New Orleans next week. They fall to Arkansas State, 83-79.